Hello everyone, my name's Leopold, and today I'm back to record some more Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Now, it's been a while since I've uh, actually recorded this game. I'm trying to get, like, at least most of the game done before I go back to classes here in a few days. Um, it's just that I've been getting these weird allergies where I just can't stop coughing. <coughs> like, it's not so bad right now because I just took some medicine, but, um... Um, like, last week, about a week ago, uh, tomorrow, is when it was really, really bad, and, like, every time I wake up, every morning after, it's been pretty bad, so, yeah, if you hear any coughing, uh, that's me, and I apologize in advance. I'm hoping that I feel better before class starts, because, um, <sighs> it's just weird, you know, taking a deep breath and then feeling like coughing. And I don't know where this came from. I've never had allergies like this before. It's usually like sneezing, uh, me rubbing my eyes and redness in my eyes because just being around pollen. So, but anyways, that all aside, uh, let's continue on with the story. Um, I'm starting to upload more episodes now. I haven't been uploading recently because a lot of stuff's been happening lately. Uh... I won't go into detail about that, um, but let's just get started with chapter 6. So last time, Nadine and Chloe had a falling out, and we found out that Sam Drake is the expert from, uh, for, uh, Asav. And that's really it. Now, recently, my parents went out of town over the weekend. I would have recorded a part one of the nights they were gone, but um, I actually had some friends over to play some games. They were ass blasting me for the games that I played too, and I don't understand why. Like, first we played Smash, everybody was having fun, but then I decided to change the game to other stuff that I thought they would like, and they weren't like big fans of it. And it really sucks, because, like, you know, um, and they were like saying that all the games that I play are bad pretty much, except for, like, I think. Uh, Smash really and it really does suck because a lot of the games that I played have gotten go off to her. Have gotten high marks and for good reason stuff like Rayman Legends the Batman Arkham games Yes, you guys are probably like what they shit talk the Batman Arkham games Yeah, apparently according to one of my friends all you do in that game is press circle I'm Like oh, I'm a contrarian that likes to uh, judge a game by one aspect of gameplay Yes, it is it was more like in the nose, considering your nose was bleeding, but okay. No, no, it's not too far. Can I fall down? <laughs> no better way to start a part than like that. I better go after her. But yeah, I feel like he's just being a contrarian. Like, yeah, in the Arkham games, you do press square a lot, but... At the same time, what I get for being honest. it's like a mixture of genres. And that's just like one of the styles of games that I like. Oof, that was close. And I like games where, um, you know, you get a mixture of genres. Like with the Uncharted games, you get stealth, you get gunplay. And, uh, you know, you get action and quick time events. I don't mind the quick time events because, you know, it's very cinematic. And you get platforming elements, too. So, you know, it's a nice little mixture of genres. With the Arkham games, you get stealth. Yep, that's true. But with the Arkham games, you get rhythm gameplay, you get, um, Jesus. Point taken, universe. You get, um, stealth gameplay, you get rhythm gameplay, and, um, you know, it's just a nice little mixture. It really fit for Batman. To me, it did. 
And there's a reason why those games got the high accolades that they did. Well, at least the first two. And, like, somewhat Arkham Knight, I guess. I mean, to me, Arkham Knight is okay. Like, gameplay-wise, it's probably the best of the trilogy when it comes to the Batman stuff, but in terms of everything else... Uh... Yeah, in terms of everything else, like the, uh... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, everything aside from the regular arc and combat, it's gonna be a yikes for me. Because I'm not a big fan of the, uh, bat tank. That was where, like, the series, I think, jumped the shark. Honestly. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Yes, we're going this way. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whoa, what? Oh, shit. Oh, she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. She's kicking ass. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I like games where there's like a mix of genres, which is why I'm really excited for Spider-Man PS4. I'm sure it'll have stealth elements, heavy on the combat, and uh... Like rhythm-based combat. It's basically gonna be, uh, it's, it's gonna be Batman Arkham Queen. Shit. Ah, oh, I messed up. I messed up bad. Never get anywhere with that APC. Looks like a war zone out here. Shit. But, you know, um, one thing that I really don't like about them is that, um, no, I invited them to my house and they ass blasted me about the games that I played. Now, Sonic, I just kind of expect that at this point, that they're going to ass blast me for the, for playing Sonic. I think that, um, you know, I joined in on it too, because we were playing some Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer and one of them said that uh, Sonic Adventure 2 looked like a mobile game and that made everybody laugh because it's so true and it made me feel like you know they uh, they mostly stick to like modern games as opposed to and didn't understand that this was a game that was like from 2001 But at the same time, it was still pretty hilarious. Shoot! I'm dead. It's gonna catch me. Oh, crap. <laughs> I need to find the high ground. Oh, crap. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. RPG. I'm coming for you. Shoot. And you know that was fun to, you know, rip on Sonic Adventure 2 because that game really hasn't aged well. I don't think. Um. You know. Um. Both the adventure games to me 
really do um, show like some of the boneheaded decisions that Sonic Team has made. Um, yes, off to a good start. Okay, now I see what I oh shoot. God damn. Oh, what the heck? What Nadine heard me die too. That's funny as hell. Let's see how strong that APC really is. And you know, I the same friend that was ass blasting me for like in the Arkham games, he also is like for the meme that Sonic was never good. Um so I don't think that Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer where every button um, does some different action um, that isn't the jump um, was really a good impression on him. And personally, I'm, I mean, like, I had fun, but that's just how Sonic Adventure 2 multiplayer is. People are like, oh, Sonic Adventure 2 had the best multiplayer in a Sonic game. That's because... That's because they're speaking from player experience and the fact that the people that they play with don't know how to play. That's literally what it is, but people don't want to admit that. And I hate to be in that mentality where I'm like, you have to admit that something is true because it's a stupid ass mentality. Um, you know, because they don't have to admit anything. It's their opinion. They don't have to agree. Oh, what the heck? I thought it latched on. And we also played Sonic Mania competition mode with four players, which was fun for me because I used Sonic and because I won. So it goes to show that even a simple game like Sonic Mania can be confusing for like a newcomer. Because obviously they weren't getting into it because they didn't know the character's abilities and how they could like use those abilities to you know, get them to the end of stages, and the stages are very maze-like in Sonic Mania, which, um, you know, that makes it hard to um, get into them. But at one point I had to wonder, like, if my friend even knew what platformers were, because he ass-blasted me for saying, like, he said that, like, all you do in Sonic games is hold right. That's why all, that's why most of them are trash. And I'm like, like, yeah, at times, but you realize that that applies to all platformers, right? It's not just Sonic. So it makes me feel like, you know, people show favoritism to certain uh, s series uh, for doing something that all like genres do. And you know, platformers, they're not like the most, uh, They're not like the best uh, genre to me, but they're one of my favorites because, you know, platformers are fun. And so what if you're holding right a lot of the time? You're still jumping. That's literally what a platformer is. You hold right and jump and occasionally you press left. That's literally what it is. It's just that Sonic has speedy elements, which makes, you know, the platforming seem a lot more rewarding and fun and so on and so forth now after we played smash um, for a bit and I switched the game I switched it to Rayman Legends and I guess that they didn't like the uh, and we really only played the music levels because you know those are like the best levels in the game but I guess they didn't like those because I could have first off I could have done a better job explaining the controls to them like, I told them the basics, like, you know, how to jump, how to run, all that stuff. But, you know, I don't know, I guess they didn't, like, get that you had to follow the music, hence why it was playing. But, you know, that makes sense, but it doesn't make it a bad game. Alright, can't resist kicking the hornet's nest, can you, Fraser? Yes, yes, listen, we'll never get anywhere with these guys around. Come on!
So I'm sorry I'm taking a long time. I just realized that I meant to set a timer for 45 minutes and I forgot about it. So I'll probably just end this part after chapter six. So I'm getting some seafood. Ooh. Drive towards me, I friggin' dare you. Oh crap! Oof. Stop shooting at me. Ugh. Shoot. I am like I am stuck. I can't go anywhere. Shoot. Move, move, move. Did it blow up? Yes! Holy crap. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't go towards the exploding vehicle. Oh cool. Oof. Alright, where's that RPG at? I'm gonna need it. It's on one of these rooftops. And you know, maybe... Rayman Legends was like a little too LOL random humor for them. You know what I mean? Because that's the kind of humor that it has. Which isn't going to be for everyone. Per personally, I'm not like the hugest fan of it, but I also like it in terms of how Rayman Legends is because it's just so wacky. And it's like a cartoon, you know? Alright, where, where are they shooting at me from? Who's shooting at me? Where are you at? So I can ass blast you right now. <coughs> ah. And for those of you who are like worried about me, um, I have like a whole bag of Ricola, like right, oh crap. Like right next, like right over on my uh, shelf. And uh, well, it's more or less like, some TV stand that was repurposed to be a book a bookshelf. Get over here so I can ass blast you real quick. Oh shoot! <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh shit! Reinforcements are sore. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna help so much. And one thing that they were like surprised about is that they didn't know right? that you could actually. That, um, you can act shit. That you can actually put your gains into folders. And... And it's just like a theme with this guy. So he said, yeah, put all your trash games into one folder and delete them. And I'm like, alright. I'm starting to regret inviting you guys. But, you know, I'm probably gonna invite him again. The next time my parents go out of town here soon. Because, you know, it was still fun. We still had fun playing games. I'm probably gonna get my friend to actually play the Arkham games so he can, you know, be in a place where he can judge them fully. Like, I'm gonna be like, all right, here's how you're supposed to play. Now play it the way that you're saying you're supposed to play it. Because I actually wanna see how effectively you play whenever you play the exact way that you're saying. Because if you only hit square, you're gonna get fucked up. Like, yeah, you hit square a lot in the Batman Arkham games, but you still do other stuff. Got your ass. Oh, shoot. Shit. I thought you didn't care about me. Oh, shit. 
Anyways, after I record this episode, I'm probably gonna watch some Ninja Turtles. Um, you know, to change the subject off my asshole friends that hate me, even though I invited them to my house. Um, because I just recently checked out the newest Ninja Turtles cartoon, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, you know, because it's just been on my list. Installed the Critic looked at it. Uh, Black Nerd looked at it because he's a huge TMNT fan. And, you know, I'm a huge TMNT fan. I grew up with the 2003 show 15 years ago. It's hard to believe, uh, you know, how much of the Turtles that I've been exposed to since, but, um... No, I love Ninja Turtles. My favorite, um, one of my favorite indie movies is like the original Ninja Turtles movie from 1990. Um, and to me, it still pr really holds up. Like, it's not a good movie, Lily, but it's an enjoyable it. movie. Clear. Hang on, be right there. Oh, shit. You need a hand? And then another reason is because the voice of Leonardo in the show is going to be Sonic next year. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the task, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority is the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Damn. Fair enough. And just when I thought those awkward lesbian vibes were gonna go somewhere. I I'm not the only one that was thinking that, right? Like, before the whole blow up. Just saying. What's it's not out of left field. But anyways, back to Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Exactly what it sounded like. It's actually not that bad. Like, there's some aspects that I don't like. The 11 minute episodes. No. The 11 minute episodes, I'm not a big fan of because there's like not enough time to actually develop a story around a bad guy. And it's very humor based. Um, which I don't mind, because it's actually pretty funny at times. I think that, um... The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. Whoa. But we didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Huh. But, um, you know, going on with the show... I think that with every Ninja Turtle show that I've seen, I've had like my favorite turtle change. For a uh, 2003 show was definitely Leonardo, because I was a kid and I liked blue. For the 2012 show, it was definitely Michelangelo, because he was adorable and hilarious. Um, but for this new show, I think that my favorite turtle is the one that everybody claims is the best one, and that's Donatello, and it's because of his like really dry, sarcastic wit. It like makes me laugh so much because I love that type of humor. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. Sounds like my stomach growling. Cause I didn't eat dinner today. But I got this open bag of Doritos that I'm not gonna eat. Rats. Oh, 
yeah, I would. Oh that? shit, and bats. I would commentate, but you know the suspense level is rising. What is that? Whatever it is, it's close. That's scary as fuck. Holy sh... How do you know it's a girl? Does it have a Sorry, penis? Girl. We're gonna get you out. Time to match the button. Gameplay. Oh crap. Stay calm. Talking to me or the elephant. Both. Easy. That's cool. You get to ride a friggin' elephant. Okay, then. Where's it taking us? Wherever it wants. Here. <clears throat> want some of this? <coughs> mm. I guess that this is the gatekeeper that chapter 6 was referring to. Alright, so this is literally ripping off a scene from Uncharted 4. <coughs> Excuse me. Where, um... Where, oh, cutscene. Monkeys. Oh, I'm getting those lesbian, lesbian vibes again. Look, I am. Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. I can tell. You're a selfish dickhead. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. <laughs> what happened with your father? <sighs> he was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions because this time he said he was onto something big <laughs> he was always onto something big hmm. but bandits raided his camp and um, local authorities found him weeks later mm -hmm. and this stupid thing is all I have left of him I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. Yeah, that's true. So, listen, Fraser. You don't. Oh shoot. What's it doing? Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Look at it. Come on. 
<laughs> no wonder she was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Sounds good. Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. Oh, just keep your distance. Oh shit. That bull will kill you. That's true. I suppose I would be ashamed to come in this way and die right now here. But let's take a picture. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, uh, excuse me. Move over a little. That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Much safer way to pet an elephant. Yep. Alright, so like I was saying before, uh, one of the other reasons why I wanted to go ahead and check it out. I'd say we're on the right track. Um, is because the voice of Leonardo for the new show. Maybe it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Hmm. What's the difference? Smaller. Smaller ears. Sort of a double dome on the skull. Hmm. But they do have one thing in common. What's that? They'll both stomp you flat if you get near their cough. Point taken. Right. Also, I feel like a dumbass because uh, obviously female elephants don't have tusks. <laughs> oh, I feel like an idiot. All right, but anyways, like I was saying before, they keep interrupting. Is that the voice of Leonardo in the new show is going to be the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog in the movie? I don't know if I brought that up yet. But um, you know, I'm a fan of his voice. I think that um. Like, I like his voice acting as Dewey in the new DuckTales show, especially. But, um, you know, his Leonardo voice is also a really good fit for Sonic, I think. And, you know, like, people are tired of uh, Surfer Dude Sonic with Roger Craig Smith. So, you know, if they do decide to, like, actually replace um, the voice actors after the movie... Then I would say that Ben should be Sonic because he has a good Sonic voice. Up here. Oh, because nothing's down there. Nice. Okay. Ooh, another picture. Scenery shot. And, uh, you know, for me, I don't think the show is as bad as people are making it sound. Because, like I said, Donatello's the best turtle because he's the hilarious one. Um, and, you know, the big problem, other than the 11 minute episodes, which I don't really like, is that they, um, they also decided to have, um, They haven't really, like, given, like, a backstory for the characters yet. Um, unlike every other Turtle series which started with the backstory, I'm guessing it's because we already are familiar with the backstory, both versions. Um, well, there's several different versions, but basically the one from the comics, the 1990 movies, and the 2003 show is that Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi and um, basically mimicked his moves. I feel like this is gonna collapse just knowing Uncharted. Okay. And um, the other backstory being that um, Hamato Yoshi was actually mutated into Splinter. <coughs> 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Can't really talk for a long time without coughing. I just figured that I would start recording because. I see light through the water. Ah, I sound awful. Whoa. The Lost Legacy. Roll credits. Hello, Belua. It's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from herself. Yeah. Apart from herself. And a few of his men. <laughs> and a few of his men. <laughs> you ready? You just totally crushed that moment. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end this with a picture. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna continue my Ninja Turtles talk probably in the next video before I get started like watching the show because I actually haven't seen the entire show. <coughs> Jesus, I don't understand what's wrong with me or why this happened. But anyways, this has been Leopold, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and take care.